Hello everyone, welcome to TS Info YouTube channel. This is Chandrika from TS Info Technologies. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to work on concatenate function in SharePoint online list calculated column. Open your SharePoint site with your Microsoft credentials. This is my SharePoint site. To perform concatenate function, here I was taking employee details list. This is my list containing this is the title column. I have renamed it to employee ID and these both are the single line of text columns. Concatenate function joins several text strings into a single text items and the text items can be in the form of text strings, numbers, date column values. We can use AND operator to join the text items instead of concatenate function in the formula box of a SharePoint calculated column. We can add up to 30 text items in a single concatenate function. Taking reference as these two single line of text columns, now I will create a calculated column here to join employee first name and employee last name into a single text item that is separated by the space. So now let's create a calculated column here. Click on add column and select see all column types. Click on next. Then in create column page, enter column name for the calculated column here. In the column name box, I was giving name as employee full name. And select the data type as calculated calculation based on other columns. In the formula box of additional column settings, give the formula as like this is equals to concatenate open bracket. Enter the text columns from the inside column. Like I was taking here, employee first name, select this and add to formula, comma, open inverted commas. In between the inverted commas, here I was giving space because in between the names, I would like to give the space. So I was giving space here. After the inverted commas, give comma and select employee last name from the inside column box and add to formula close the open bracket. Now click on OK. Now we can see that calculated column has been created in the SharePoint list separated by the space which joins employee first name and employee last name in the employee full name box. Similarly, this is my another SharePoint list. Here this is the title column and this is the date and time column. I have concatenated these two columns, but it is not showing the date format here. So now I will create another SharePoint calculated column by using concatenate function, which shows date format in that calculated column. Click on add column, select see all column types. In create column page, provide column name, I have taken column name as product hyphen estimated delivery and choose data type as calculated calculation based on other columns. In the formula box of additional column settings, provide the formula for calculated column is equals to concatenate open bracket. Take title from the inside column box. This title column is renamed as product name. Add to formula commas inverted commas open inverted commas and in between the inverted commas give hyphen after the inverted commas give the comma text and again open bracket and select delivery date from the inside column box and click on add to formula again comma and give the format of date mm slash dd slash yyy and close two brackets and select the data type as date and time date and time format date only and click on ok now we can see a calculated column has been created in the sharepoint list with product and estimated delivery concatenating both product name and delivery date in the format of date this is how to concatenate title column and date column in a SharePoint calculated column using concatenate function. For more videos on SharePoint online, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.